We're back. This is the Push Your Rank vlog series about how to write your own business plan. My name is Nicholas Coriano. I've written over 200 business plans for clients and customers in five continents, everywhere except the North and South Pole. I think it's a little too cold there for internet. So we are now on the market research section of the business plan. We've already covered the executive summary. I told you guys in the first video that covers everything, right? So we have a paragraph of everything. We covered the company description, which has the products, the services. It also has our hours. And it also has what kind of entity we are. So whether we are incorporated, so proprietor, partnership. We did the SWOT analysis, this is optional. And now we're on the market research. So let's get to it. What do you include in your market research? Well, there's two parts of market research. There's your market and then there's the industry. Your market is where you're going to sell your product. So for example, if you sell a pet supply product, your market is anyone that has pets. You may want to get a number here for, here for how many people actually have pets in America or in China or in Australia, wherever your market is. This number is very important. To get your market number right is important because you're going to be basing your financial projections based off of your numbers here in your market research. So in our financial projections, we don't just go off the wall and say we can make a million dollars, $10 million. We have a basis for our assumption. The basis for our financial assumptions comes from our market research. So you want a lot of population statistics, a lot of demographic statistics here that say how much people make in your target market and how many people are actually in your target market. Now, in addition to the market research, you also want to include industry research, which means if you're selling, let's use pet supplies again, um, for example, not only do you want to know how many people are in the market for pet supplies, but you also want to know the industry itself, meaning how many competitors are in your market. How many big box retailers actually sell supplies? How many web domains sell pet, uh, pet supplies? So again, the market research section, a lot of statistics. You don't want to make up anything in this, in this area here, right? You want to get everything in this area has a source. So a great source is government websites. Um, McKinsey and Partners is a great research firm, right? So really high quality research with a footnote at the bottom where you got that information. Because the last thing you want to do is go to an investor or a bank and say, we're basing our assumptions on our market research and you made up the market research. So again, the market research is all facts. It's all numbers. Um, it has everything to do with your competitors and your potential customers. But again, the biggest thing to remember about the market research here is all facts. All facts. You don't want anything made up here because when we base our assumptions later on for our financial projections, we want to make sure we're basing them on something that's fact and that we didn't make up, that we're not biased about. So that's the market research section. It's okay to copy and paste like crazy in the market research section, right? Because again, you're not writing anything new. You're grabbing hardcore facts, hard data from whatever sources you are. Make them reliable sources. You don't want to go to WikiHow or um, any no-name site. You want to get government sites, official sites um, to get your market research from. So. That's all the way up to market research. On our next video, we'll talk about our marketing plan. You can follow us on Twitter, Push Your Rank. Visit our website, pushyourrank.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Push Your Rank. And we will have a lot more tips for you soon.